Oh, oh shit. Right. Welcome back to uh, Banjo Kazooie. A temple where shit happens like that. The, the memory game. Yes. My memory is not as good as it used to be. Mm. Now, you were talking about, um, you know, the um, moments that, you know, were trial and error. Yep. Um, so, would, would you say that was one of the worst moments of trial and error that you ever had to try with, like, a really um, uh, difficult puzzle? Trial and error? Yeah. Uh, well, that GoldenEye one was probably up there um, mm. because it was a partic particular path. Um, I've had a few... These days, it's pretty... Like, trial and error is not something people do anymore because it's all on the internet. Yeah, people... Um, <laughs> after 20 minutes, they're like, ah, oh, screw it, look up a walkthrough. Pretty much. Um, fuck. So, um... Yeah, trial and error was one of those things... Oh, for fuck's sake. Uh, only, only, only like, 90s, 90s gamers would understand. <laughs> uh, not even that, fuck. Uh, um, 80s. Even 80s gamers, because... 80s, yeah, that was a lot. In the 80s, the internet didn't ex really exist. So and if it was, it was slow as fuck, and you couldn't get a nude picture for like fucking two and a half hours. <laughs> was it the eighties? No, I thought the nineties was when the internet came in. Uh, uh, America Online. America, yeah, yeah. Well, for that, like, the internet I, wasn't I, something that I um. Was... I, I saw. I, I got the first time I used it was in nineteen ninety five. A friend, I don't know how, she, they had like six computers. And they they had the internet on one of them because they only had one lane core for well, that. What's the, what was the size of the computer? Because weren't computers back then fucking huge? No, no, it's, it was not too different than you know um, the size of our computers now. It was just their their specs were just shit. So I remember an episode of the fr of Friends, and Chandler walks in with a laptop and he rattles off all these specs. It's like, oh, that's really cool. What are you going to use it for? Games and stuff. But it was like a Pentium 2 processor and the RAM was like 256 kilobytes <laughs> per second. And like watching that and back megabytes, then, I'm sure yeah. it was like, no, no, no. Don't even think it was megabytes. No. It might have been like, megabytes. But uh, for a laptop back then, yeah, you're probably right. Uh, and he's just like, just games and stuff. I'm like, it's funny that these days, back then, that's when computers were used mostly for like, you know, work. Yeah, like, e like small emails and, you know, accounting and that. Yeah. What games would have ran on that back then, I wonder? Doom? Age of Empires? Uh, original Doom, Wolfenstein. Um, you, back then, you had a lot of... I would call, you'd call them indie developers, but they'd have, like, small, shitty old games on, like... You'd get, like, 101. I thought you were just saying Wolfenstein and that were indie developers. I'm like... No, 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 <laughs> no, like, they weren't. I, ID was probably one of the bigger ones. That was, you know, their yeah. main stake. But like, oh, 90, 95, um, yeah, Duke Nukem was out around then. Uh, was that side-scrolling Duke Nukem or was that Duke Nukem 3D back then? Duke Nukem 3D. Was it? Yeah, like 90, 94, 95, you were looking at just before the original Quake came out. And that was like the one, that was like the, what really took uh, first-person shooters into the 3D, um, into the 3D realm. See, I was never a, um... Quake Duke, fan? No, I never really played Quake. Um, Unreal Tournament. Yeah. Uh, definitely was one of the ones that I... Um, you remember? Vaguely. Mm. Um, I played that more in school when we were supposed to be working. <laughs> um, yeah, kids nowadays, when... I mean, no, uh, people, when you're learning, like, information technology and you're learning with, like, virtual computers and that, I have not gone into one classroom and not seen at least Quake, Unreal Tournament... Or, um, I think there was another one. I just had one of the funniest memories then. You won't know it because you didn't go to school with when I did it. Tangles and I went to school together. Mm -hmm. So, there was there was this music room in where the gym was. And mm -hmm. they had a bunch of computers too. So, there was this game on the computer called Drug Lord 2. Drug Lord 2? Yeah, I am. On a school computer? I'm dead serious. Uh, there wow. was a yeah called Drug Lord. How the fuck did you guys get that one put on there? Uh, I we don't know, but the idea of the game was so anyone that's interested in this game, I'm pretty sure it still exists. Um, so you start off with a small amount of money, and you start with like the the low grade drugs like marijuana or something like that, PCP and all that sort of stuff, 
Um, and you buy drugs and make money off them the more you make, you know, the better drugs you can get. I can't believe this is what it's called. The dead set serious. <laughs> Wow, and I, and I thought, and I thought, you know, kids were getting edgy when they were putting, you know, freaking um, Unreal Tournament and shooters up on them. Nah, <laughs> fucking we, we, It was like a, it was kind of like I guess a text-based game. Per, it wasn't really a text-based game, but like you just have like it was a small window that only take up half the screen, and you just click on shit, and then you'd, you'd might you might fly to say like reminiscent of like a flash game, but yeah, with most it's kind text. of you'd fly, you, you'd pick up drugs and then you'd fly them to say Los Angeles and there was a, ch- a like a chance or an opportunity to actually get caught and you might go to jail and you just lose or you mm-hmm. might get shot that's what it looks like there oh I'll put up a picture of it for you oh no wonder that that would fly right under the so radar there was school. cocaine crack ecstasy heroin ice cat does that say cat I don't know what that says there I think it says cat Mm, I don't know what that is. MDA, uh, morphine, <laughs> mushrooms, opium, PCP, pot, and special K. Which is what, special K. <laughs> and what would happen, if I remember correctly, um, certain times, like, uh, a drug a drug lord had been shot up and he was a dealer for special K. Uh, that Now special K is worth $5,000 instead of that. So you're like, oh, shit. Uh, but pot has gone down to 100 per gram. So you buy a bunch of pot, and then something would happen, and then the pot prices would raise. So it's exa- it's kind of like playing the stock markets. Yeah, it's, it's stock market, you know, what supply am I doing? and demand. I'm just running around doing nothing. That's a- so yeah, oh, <laughs> you're gonna download it. <laughs> Tangles is downloading drugs. We might, we might, we might play it for one special let's play. <laughs> not, not, in, not saying that you should kids do drugs. Do not do drugs no, because. No. Um, that is an absolute no-no. Don't do drugs. They're bad. Uh, except for pot. If you don't no. believe me, ask your dad. <laughs> ask your dad. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was an interesting <laughs> game. <laughs> is it finished downloaded already? I'm just... I've got... <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, what? Like half a second. Bang. Done. Um, I don't know what... what I guess because you're bringing up old games on PCs. I'm going to die again. This level sucks. <laughs> I forgot how much this level sucks. This, uh, what do you hate more? This level or the sewer? Oh, sewer. <laughs> it's mostly because I can't remember what I'm supposed to do. But I think I've got enough now to do all this stuff, so. Hmm. Well, I've, I've got a funny story about something that was not supposed to be on the school computers that I actually uh, figured out, like, not three, four days after I went went to uh, this, um, Swan Hill College when I just was in New eight eight or nine yep um for some reason we had you know we had an edgy tech guy who you know loved loved working with his computer and that but he had his full uh like his full discography of all his music and this guy i would say he had like anywhere between 10 gigs worth of music on a on a server that was put onto um the school system okay and um we knew about it, but we didn't know how to crack it. Two days after I was there, I was there, I was like, "Oh, yeah, well, there's this. Well, that that you know that drive's gonna have a certain freaking name and that." I saw about what everyone else did, so I I tried a couple of things and I cracked it. Okay. I cracked it, and there was very explicit music, like well, well like M&M, NWA and M&M. A- NWA, D12, Eminem. Um, insane clown posse for some reason. Um, well, I see. ICP was pretty big back then. It was. It was. My parents were even into it. That was. A I was weird. never into it. It was just a little bit too much for me. But I know um, a lot of people that were into it. So. Yeah, rock music. Yeah, some pop music. But you know, uh, uh, two days later, I got a referral over the fact that I found something that wasn't supposed to be on the system, and uh, it was all deleted. <laughs> referral. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because um, they heard that I was the one that cracked it, but they couldn't prove it. Then why did you get a referral? Um, because um, they saw that I accessed it, and everyone who accessed it oh, uh, right, on, their, back then on, their, on their usernames user yeah, got a referral notice of, don't go into this, you're not supposed to be in this. We understand that you've accessed these files and that, which is not supposed to be blah, blah, blah. But uh, tech guy got in trouble, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> oh, I would assume so. We had a very similar tech guy. 
in our school. Uh, I'm actually pretty sure he works for Microsoft nowadays. In, um... I don't know. Oh, damn it. Just shy. Oh, can um, he hook us up with some free gold? <laughs> <laughs> he, um... He was pretty good at computer stuff, too. Um... And I'm pretty sure he used to make folders like that and put, like, un like games on there as well for us to play. Mm. Um, he was mostly a good kid, though, so he didn't do it all the time. But he did find ways to lock folders, and those are always interesting to try and get into. Um, well, a lot back I then... I think, I think his name might have been Ben. So... Mm. Well, back then, uh, was encryption wasn't so big back then as it was... Now, nowadays, if you want to encrypt anything like photos, oh, it's any files, yes, you, you just, right, right click encrypt data <laughs> <laughs> pretty much, and you just have an encryption program that does that. And you can lock it, especially like phones nowadays, you know, you can lock anything with your fingerprint and that, and that's all encrypted. So, if anyone did access, yeah, yeah, yeah. encryption like data stuff's like that's pretty good. Yeah. Um, security and safety stuff's always been good like that especially in this day and age when we definitely need it but anyway we'll end the episode here uh, i think what i'm going to do though is i'm gonna quickly run to another level do a few things in there and then we'll start the next episode so thanks for watching guys don't forget to subscribe like and comment yeah and tell us about some files that you wish you had encrypted <laughs> <laughs> that could be many different things uh, interesting comments though um bye <laughs> bye I mean, I've got an entire file of uh, folder of porn, but <laughs> but then again, I don't hide that stuff. Actually, I don't really put that stuff on my computer. Why, well, you got why, no why really have it on there? Your computer for it. Anyway. Yeah, why have it on a, in a folder when I can just stream it anyway? Yeah, pretty much. Thank God for the internet. <laughs>